since daybreak. He'd seen the size of the pig, and he wasn't looking forward to what had to be done. Good morning, Papa. Morning, Fern. Here are the eggs, Mama. Thank you, Fern. What's Papa gonna do with that axe? Some pigs were born last night. What does he need an axe for? One of the pigs was a runt. So your father has to do away with it. Do away with it? You, you mean kill it? Well, yes. Just because it's smaller than the others? Don't yell, Fern. The pig would probably die anyway. Papa! 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 Papa, stop! Don't! Don't kill it! It's unfair! Fern, you will have to learn to control yourself. Control myself? This is a matter of life and death. And you talk about controlling myself. Now, Fern, I know more about raising pigs than you do. A weakling makes trouble. Now, run along. <laughs> but it's unfair. If I had been very small, would you have killed me? Oh, certainly not. A little girl is one thing. A runny pig is another. <laughs> I don't see any difference. This is the most terrible case of injustice I ever heard of. Oh? Huh? You know, I've got a good mind to let you raise this pig. Then you'd see what trouble a pig can be. Oh, Papa. Would you? Please? All right. He's yours. Saved from an untimely death. Oh, look at him. He's absolutely perfect. His name is... Wilbur. Pig doesn't grow fat on kisses and hugs, Fern. Now take him inside and feed him. John Arable, you've gone soft. Isn't he precious? Can I have a pig too, Pop? I only distribute pigs to early risers. Fern was up at daylight trying to rid the world of injustice. Seems to me you've already got more wildlife than you can take care of, Avery. Something more I'm feeling must be. 